All right, so the surgery itself, um, so I wanted to talk about that. Um, there are three types, right? So there's one where they split it in half. So they cut it down the middle, split the two, and then they go in and dig out the extra bone in there. So mine's floating in there. It's not, um, apparently it's not attached to anything. Um, so they, they just had to pluck it out, I guess. Um, the other way is to go in from the side. So they'd be cutting in right here and then taking it out. So lift, lifting up the patellar tendon and then taking out the bone. Um, that's the one that I'm getting. Um, and then there's a third one where you know they put in one hole here and one hole down here. And then with like little microscope things, they dig something out, I don't know. That's like the new school way of doing it. But um, I'm doing the second one from the side. Um, I think they do it from the inside and the outside. Mine's, I think they're doing both of mine from the outside. I'm getting bilaterally the surger surgery done. Um, so yeah, just helping out whoever uh, is going into this. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, oh yeah, one thing, so he mentioned to me like the potential con of this surgery. Um, everything else was like pretty good. Like he just, he made it seem like it was gonna be the solution. He had done like 100, 100 of these surgeries. John Andrew Grant, this guy in Ann Arbor. Um, he said everything's cool. Like he made it seem like it, it was gonna be great. You know, after six weeks, you're gonna be running and jumping and this and that. Um, pretty convincing and I've done my research you know I've, I've, I've done my homework I've, I asked the right questions he had the right responses um, whatever um, so yeah the one con that he said that the potential not even like stopper but what could go wrong is that the patellar tendon is attached to that bone if that's the case they would have to cut it off of that bone as they're taking it out and then reattach the patellar tendon onto the end of the tibia here. Um, so he said that's, it's not really an issue. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Um, so no big, I mean like doing a few pieces of your patellar tendon and reattaching it, like that's really no, not a big deal. Um, but my two big questions were the elasticity of my patellar tendon, you know, like having that that hump in there, it's going to kind of shorten that tendon or that the length of the tendon. Therefore, like the strength of it, you know, like the it's, it's going to be a little bit looser now. Um, so I guess strengthening wise, and that's probably a physical therapist question. Um, but he, he kind of reassured me again that like, no, that, that bone's not doing anything in there. Um, it's pretty elastic and, you know, it goes in and out of elasticity. So I'm like, all right, well, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going into this blind. I have, I am putting a lot of faith in these U of M doctors, but you know, I've done a hundred of these things. So keep with me. Um, hopefully I can post in, I'm getting it the 29th, 2021 of July. So just three more weeks and then I'll be posting in, I don't know, four or five weeks. And then again, just kind of keeping track and giving you guys a little, little reference points to this recovery process. This uh, Osgood Slaughter shit is... But um, I appreciate you guys... Uh, listening let me know if you have any questions Padilla Rico at Instagram peace out dudes